Are you ready for the heavyweight championship of the world? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so we agreed. We agreed uh, for the most part on Puff versus uh, Dre, um, JD versus whoever, and then um, Drew Hill, their matchups. Let's see if we agree on this. So you kind of get your answer already. Um, Dre, <laughs> oh, we agree on this because I'm, I'm with you. Like, uh, So basically, you summarize it. Um, Drake is probably the biggest uh, pop star we have in rap right now. Um, yeah. And then they're saying he's getting ready to eclipse the king of pop. So uh, I mean, they're um, talking about is he or is he now not getting ready yeah. to. Yeah. So, so I, OK, so this is me. Um, as big as Drake is right now in this, in t- I'm just going to just use this error. Rihanna is just as big worldwide. Beyonce is just as big worldwide. Chris Brown is just as big worldwide. Yeah. Kanye West is just as big worldwide. So he still has his contemporaries that are just as big. And, I've, and depending on who and you I've ask, felt, some may be bigger. I've, I, I, and that's the thing. I'm not, I'm not opposed to like, because it's the same LeBron versus MJ debate where it's like, I don't, I don't mind if your contemporaries are on the same plateau as you, but the thing is, he's not the biggest personality on that. It's Beyonce to me. Like, I feel like she's the only one that's probably given any of those Madonnas of the world, the princes of the world, or the MJs of the world a run for their money. And for like, this is the thing, when you leave different spaces, I feel like Drake may be the biggest pop star rapper. Um, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people like in, in other genres are really messing with them like that. If I, if I go to a country music um, um, concert and I ask them to recite a Drake lyric, I don't necessarily know if he's getting the same love that like, when I, so it I'm depends only, on I'm what, it depends on what is, country artist it is. It depends on right, which so one it here's is. The thing. I, like I a use, Taylor I Swift type my, person. Yes. Garth right, so Brooks. Use, no, this is my, yeah. So here's my gauge. So I came from a, a, a Haitian household. My parents mm-hmm. didn't speak a lick of English. So when they could recite Michael Jackson lyrics, that showed me how big he was. Like as soon as they started singing lyrics, it's like, it's time to change the track. So when I'm old enough to remember, I was living through the era of um, the um, You Are Not Alone video, single. The, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, That was yeah. Uh, past, present, history, future, whatever. Yep, history. And I remember when that video was released, um, my mom knew the lyrics and she, mm-hmm. she don't speak English. So to me, that's pop. It's like you're hitting with every particular group or, um, like or internationally, Haitians rock with you too. Jamaicans rock with you. The Caribbean, Russia, all of that. Drake don't got that. I don't feel like he has that or he's close. Like I feel he, like Beyonce comes close, but I don't think Drake has that. When Drake has lyrics. Drake has now let me let me back up now. Drake is very big. He's very very big. Yeah, but I agree. but we're comparing it to MJ now. But when you're comparing it to Michael Jack, you can't yeah. compare it because you know how many other people you have to eclipse to get to Michael Jackson. You're skipping yeah, over the Elvis, the Beatles, the Beatles, Madonna, Garth Brooks, who's the highest selling country western artist of all time. Yeah, you still got ACDC. The Eagles, mm-hmm. you have so many other people. Look at the have... top selling albums of all time. It's but a couple about, other we're... albums after. But think after about it, you're talking like... about these people have done it for decades. Yeah. Decades. They saw, they... More than one. And another and another thing that people bring up is it's it's more difficult to sell units versus streams. So it, it, you're I you understand what I'm saying, right? It would you to physically go into a store and ask for a CD and pull it off of a shelf. And to do that a hundred million times, exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. But you have to you have to dominate with the rules that you're given. Streaming is a thing, and I get that. But yeah. the one point that you bring up with that I agree, it's like, hey, bro, you're not even eclipsing some of your counterparts. So it's like before we eclipse MJ, let's do this first. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I do think it's difficult today because there was always some mystery around MJ. Like I remember I used to read books from the library to find out. How yeah. he spends his weekends. I remember yeah. I learned, oh, he 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 fasts on the weekend and he drinks water and lemon. 
that's how he that's how he stays so fit. And I'm like, I see everything Drake doing on social media. So he does that mystique and aura of superstardom isn't there. But when they yep. say when Drake is the biggest pop artist that we have in hip hop, and he's he's pop to me. He's don't don't say hip hop, say pop because he is pop. They say MJ is the king of pop, meaning that Eagles, everything you brought up, um, Eagles, Elvis, all of that, out of out of that class, he's the king of those by a mile. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So I, I don't agree with the statement, but I do but think, bro, I think it's all even it's also, he, but you still even got like Bob Marley, who people, you know, he's the, who who he's like the the he, he was the, the queen of England, some of yeah. him, you know, wanted him. Yeah. Like we're talking about like. And I get it. We're living in in this era, but he has contemporaries in this era. But you know what's so funny? Are then a bigger than him. You know what's so weird? Because I I, I think it's unfair to Drake because whenever you compare somebody to the past, it I feel like it um it makes their future stagnant. But MJ was getting the same backlash with um Elvis because when the Jackson Five made um uh Heartbreak Hotel, they called Mm -hmm. They called it Heartbreak Hotel and they had to change the name to This Place Hotel because they were like, he trying to eclipse Elvis because Elvis had a song called Heartbreak Hotel. Mm-hmm. So MJ, after Off the Wall, he was already fighting that is he bet bigger than Elvis thing. And then Thriller came and it was he shut that down. But think so, about it. Off the Wall, I said, I'm 20 million in off real. Mm-hmm. 20 million. Yeah, so do uh, does Drake, all right, let's just talk about the music. Does Drake have a body of work that's even an off the wall at this point, like a classic, a classic album. If we count it, mixed, the, pro- the problem yeah. is that when you're trying to put it against, it's kind of like, okay, don't don't let's let's not take that album. Those Mike has a four run album, yeah, d- like his four albums. Even if you throw in the history, which I think that did like twenty million as well, mm-hmm. or fifteen or whatever. Does he have a does he have a bodyguard four piece, five piece? Like you well, we have to we be have to, to be really, fair, to be fair, if uh it, it, it's we live in a um, era where it's just trendy music, so it's so disposable. Absolutely. But his albums, if we want to be fair and compare apples to apples, the same way MJ dominated and was constantly number one, Drake has dominated and constantly have been number one with his release dates. I just don't feel like they're classics though. Like, but so has like, Beyonce. Oh. Yeah, that, that's, you know why I, so that's why I said conti- yeah. he's not doing enough to separate himself from the pack to me, to where it's like, yeah, I don't know he, if we're ready for that comparison yet. He His album drop. He, for yeah. his album who's the second dropped. Who's the second fa- most famous person that ever lived? It's MJ. Like, I mean, if you go to any continent, they've heard about Jesus. Yeah. It's a strong likelihood they've heard about MJ as well. Um, to it, I mean, his influence, yourself, man. He, he, if you no, put yourself in that category, that's to me, that's where, because they're not even talking about music. They're just talking about popularity. They're saying, has he eclipsed them from stardom? I think I could go to a couple places in, um, in, in America where they don't know Drake like that. Like there's spots in Wyoming, there's spots in Utah where they're going to be like Drake. You know what I mean? They're not going to know well, him like that. It's again, he's in the we're in the social media stage. We're in a stage of um every everybody, everybody has a cell phone and you have the you know, you have music at you know, I can pull up Drake's first first to his last albums, I can pull up Michael Jackson. Like so I have the music that I can literally listen to at any point in time whenever I want to listen to it. So mm-hmm. what has to happen is again, we're talking about Michael. Michael Jackson chart. I think he. They said he had a number one song in 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 four straight decades. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, and it really five if you count Jackson five. Well, uh, four or five. Yeah. Drake gave. <laughs> right now we're at ten for him. Mm-hmm. Now he still has thirty more years to go. Are we still going to be saying this about this guy that we're saying about this guy? Yeah, come That's on, t- man. I, yeah, let's start that conversation when we get to year thirty, year tw- uh, twenty. Yeah, man, year twenty. Yeah, to, year thirty. I, I feel like year people 30. do this. Yeah, it, it's it's a polarizing topic. People bring this up just to like start arguments, but I yeah. feel like most of the people 
it, it's just you can't you can't make that comparison. It's just unfair to both parties. So yeah. I disagree. Disrespect. Um, yeah, man. <laughs>